Hey guys, welcome here. Uh, I'll be talking today about the uh, use of uh, ESP8266 uh, Node MCU to control the relay. Uh, basically, this is uh, a Wi Fi CPU uh, 8266 uh, with some onboard processing capabilities and some uh, IO pins, both analog and digital, here. I'll be using the digital pins to control the relay and, and the electrical load which is a simple bulb in this case. So currently I am uh, compiling the program here. Uh, it's uploading the sketch and once done, you'll see on the serial monitor here that uh, it's connecting to my home network. And boom, it is now connected to my home network. So, so the reason I can see the output uh, that is a part of the program is because it is controlled, uh, it is, the ESP is connected through this uh, USB connected to the computer. Uh, so in the program I also, I have also programmed the Google Assistant to control this uh, relay here. Uh, I'm using uh, the Adafruit MQTT server. Uh, Along with the along with the Google Assistant commands here, and I am subscribing to the feeds coming from Adaf uh, Adafruit server, which is controlling my uh, relay here. So let me go through the setup now here. Uh, all these pins here, uh, these three wires you see, those are the low voltage, uh, five volt uh, wires here. So red is the power, black is the ground, and brown is the signal line going to the east, uh, going to the relay. This is a two channel relay. I'm just using one for demonstration purposes, but you could control n number of relays uh, uh, depending on how many IO pins you have on the ECU. Uh, so you see I have a wall charger, a high voltage line uh, connected to the relays and then the high voltage light is connected to the green wire which will control the electric which goes to the electrical load which is a simple light bulb in this case and I'll be using my phone uh, which is same as Google Assistant or a Google Home or a laptop uh, whatever you have in your possession here so I am showing my screen here is at the same time I'll be talking to my Google Assistant and you can see the response on the screen here. Turn on the project. Okay, turned on the light. So there you see it's on. Uh, the software is saying it's on. The plus is on. The plus could be anything here. In my case, it's just a simple light bulb. And uh, in the Google Assistant, you can call it whatever you want. I'm just calling it a project. You could call it a light or a fan or heater or whatever you want to call it project off okay turned off the light okay and then here you will see turn on the project okay turned on the light turn off the project okay turned off the light so as you say I'm saying turn off the project and the response I'm getting from assistant is okay turn off the light so you can program that as well whatever the Google Assistant want to say once the event is completed uh, so again I'll show my screen as well here project on okay turned on the light project off okay turned off the light so again, this was a simple setup. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, just like a real world situation, you won't have a computer next to your ECU, or sorry, ESP. So what I'm going to do is just separate it out so we won't have any serial monitor outputs here because we don't have a screen. Instead, I'll be connecting it to a regular 5 volt traditional phone charger, which is typically 5 volts. And now it's connecting. So let's give us few seconds uh, for the ESP to boot up. Uh, the compiled program will run. And once it's connected to Wi-Fi, we will be to ready. We will be ready with our commands. So let's try out now. Turn 
turn on the project. Okay, turn on the light. Project off. Okay, turn off the light. So this is how it will work. Uh, just be careful guys, this is a high voltage uh, wire so make sure it, the, any of the leads doesn't get exposed uh, so as to ca ca cause any safety issues. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, so that's about it. Thank you. Bye.